All right, YouTube, today we have a nice, simple haircut. We're going to be doing a low, basically like a stretch drop fade. Um, his dad said he want basically all the hair on the side to be low as possible. But so we're going to lower this the whole hair, like all the hair on the side of his head to a two closed. And then we're just going to do a fade starting low because he said he wanted a low. So it, so like basically a low ball fade, but he wanted the hair length on his whole head low if that makes sense so we're going to keep everything below a two and we're going to start our guideline low as possible so this blend doesn't start like too high he doesn't want it to be like a mid fade or like a high fade um basically just a stretched out blend from the bottom as low as possible so we're setting this ball guideline just copying the shape of his head making sure that the ball guideline is like almost contoured to fit his head shape now this is my little cousin too. He is like really nice at basketball. I'll put his Instagram in, his, in the comment section so you guys could go follow him and check out some of his um, basketball highlights. But we getting it right. You about to get it right because he so he can look right for this next basketball game he got coming up. And if you guys just want to stay to the end and see how he did that, make sure you guys like and comment. Let me know what you think about this video if you made it to the end. So after doing this second, I meant the first guideline, we're on our second guideline now, doing the one guard open. And as you can see, I'm really stretching out my guidelines because I started the fade so low, but he doesn't want the whole fade to be dark. So we're going to start it low, just going to have a lot of gradients when doing this fade because the guidelines are going to be so, um, you know, above average when it comes to size. So when you guys do your guidelines, just make sure that they are the same shape for each guideline. And make sure you go over the guidelines multiple times so they're even as possible. That way your fade can come out looking as best as possible. Using our two guard, we're going to go up as high as we possibly can with this because the braids are going to get in the way. Uh, I'll show you guys what we do after that for the braids that we can't necessarily reach. But as of right now, we're just trying to stretch those braids out without messing them up too much. Just so we can get this two guard as high as we can get it because we don't want this fade to look like it's not done at the top because we didn't cut it down all the way. So just get up there as close as you can and then when we get to the next part, I'll tell you guys what to do.
So as they're trying to get as close as possible, there are going to be areas you can't reach because of the way the hair is braided. What I'm going to do is just use some clipper over comb. I'm going to use this little comb to get in those tight areas. And you're going to go up, you know, uh, kind of bend the comb at the top of it back towards you. Whatever hair you see at the bottom is what you're going to match the hair up at the top so it all blends um, seamlessly. So as you can see, I'm like combing the hair against the grain and then I'm like facing it towards me a little bit until you can barely see the hair at the bottom of the comb and then you just cut off the hair at the top of the comb so it all blend from bottom to top. So after taking out that top guy line with the one guy open, next thing we're going to use is this zero close and we're going to adjust the lever as we go up just so we don't raise so we don't raise the blend on this fade too high. You want to keep it all uniform, keep it all, you know, where we want it to be because there's no point in setting in guidelines the neat way if you're just going to raise up the whole fade with one step. So when you guys are doing this step, if you have to go higher, make sure you adjust that lever so you're not cutting off too much hair when you're going up. Bye.
lot of you guys have to understand when you're doing haircuts on younger kids there are going to be a lot of discrepancies in the head shape that you just cannot fix okay so when it comes to doing detailing work and trying to get out those dark areas you have to accept that some of them just won't come out because the way that the head is shaped like if there are certain endings that just look darker if you keep over detailing and trying to make that dark spot look lighter you're just going to mess up the whole fade and it's not going to look right so some of the stuff you just have to accept and move on um nine times out of ten most clients can't even see what barbers see anyway so don't be thinking about it too much just try to get the fade as good as possible and try to make it like fit your client's head shape without over detailing it or overdoing it As you can see, I switched clippers. I'm now using my Wall Seniors, and I've been using these for a little while. These are definitely uh, pretty decent for sure. Uh, I, I basically like watched everybody use this growing up in my barber career, and I just never ordered a pair. So Wall or sent me a pair, and I've been using them ever since. It's just like the feel of it is a little different from other clippers, but you get used to it over time. Obviously, it's just the bend of the clippers a little different. 
not something I'm used to, but I've gotten used to it and they work pretty well. So now I'm just using them for my detail work and I'm just trying to get out every dark spot that I see um, that I didn't get when I'm doing my steps. And you guys just, when you're cutting hair, this is how you get your cuts a little faster. Do your steps, just run through your steps. Don't over detail while you're doing your steps because you're wasting time, okay? Just do your steps, get those steps in and out and then come back and do detail work later. That's how you cut down a couple of minutes off your cuts. Every minute does count when cutting hair for sure. So now it's time to start this edge up portion of the haircut. First thing I'm going to do is just lower the front to get it to a length that looks good and get it nice and all even. And then we're just going to use our wall high vis trimmers to get this cut crispy as possible. And I, I actually like the high vis trimmers. I haven't had to do anything to them as far as like zero gapping them or sharpening them. I just kind of took them out the box and started using them. Um, they work pretty good as I'm pretty sure if you get them zero gap they hit even harder but it's perfect for kids right now and grown up so I'm just kind of going to leave it how they are I got enough hitters so we're just going to use these and you guys are going to see how the lineup just just comes out nice and crispy and he does have like a little grease on his head be from like the braids because I think the braids are like freshly done if you guys come up against that problem just use alcohol and clean their forehead off um, but I had to get him in and out before the game so i didn't you know do any extra stuff i just had them get them clean as possible in the time slot that i had but that's exactly what we did though
couldn't fight.